Here I go again on my own. On enjoying it. Your last holiday? Rip. Ill monster. Ill monster. Gay car though, don't even need to make a skin for this one. <laughs> Post vacate, yeah, because you know that later today you've got to sort your shit out. Is this car rear wheel drive? Fuck. Why did I have to get this sort of brute again in wet Germany? I got the Lancia 34, the brutal rear wheel drive dust wedge from Group 3. Got that in rear wheel, rear wheel drive Germany wet, I think. But it, it was definitely in the wet, it might have been, um, might have been Sardinia actually. And this car was never mentioned in the when I asked, are there any brutal cars I should look out for? Because I genuinely would have skipped this car and gone to a better car. If I'd known. But, too late now. Or just a car that could handle in the rain a little bit tighter. We'll get used to it. We'll get used to it. You know, you got a group of four-wheel drive cars. I haven't watched marble racing in a couple of years. But I did a couple of years ago watch some of the marble racing stuff. I actually have got marbles on stream set up I think still never actually played it on stream because the problem with marbles on stream is you actually need viewers which is something that I don't really have well actually you don't need viewers you just need to go to the marbles on stream category and you'll get a load of bots that try to win prizes You have to set chat to follower only for five minutes or something. The box can't play. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Anything can be good if you put enough passion and effort into it. And anything can be bad if you don't put any any effort into it. God, this is just brutal. There was an absolutely brutal smackdown in the uh, Duel League last night. Kojin beat Luther in 80 to 0. Luther in. He's been around for a bit, he's played in a few tournaments. Plays pubs quite often. Yeah, Kojin challenged him and then smacked him 80 to nothing. Which I don't know if it's like a, a misreporting of the scores or anything because I didn't actually check. Well, not 80 to nothing. It'll be 80 to nothing across two maps because it adds up the score, the score list, which is something that's being looked into because it is in theory possible. In fact, it happened. Uh, Spike lost to Wolfie, but got more kills than him. Had a better KD ratio across their three games. Spike won one game by a lot and lost two games by a little. I'll take a look. <sighs> Next match is Kojin versus Wolfie, apparently. Okay, so the first map was 23 to 0, the second map was 57 to 0. Arrow Walk 23 to 0. Then. Did they play? Oh no, Quark. It's that bit of Quark that looks exactly like the new Arrow Walk. Yeah, hopefully Wolfie. I know why Kojin's done it, so Kojin won the first game. I think Kojin worked out that the first game you play you get shit loads of points if you challenge someone the same rank as you. 
like for the first game, if you change someone else who's the first game, you gain 300 points. Because uh, Wolfie did the same thing to me. He challenged. I'd I'd won a game, my first game. I won the opening game, so I was at the top of the leaderboards with quite a lot of points. Wolfie challenged me, knowing he could beat me, meaning that he gained shitloads of points because it was his first game and he had the ability to take a shitload of points off of me. So Kojin's challenging Wolfie, probably with the knowledge that he should be able to beat him and that it should be big dick points because Wolfie's, an un uh, Wolfie's gone undefeated so far, so has a fair few points. It's interesting, it's cool because I've only ever been in one, I've been in two tournaments from this site before, both CPMA, one 2v2 and one duel, and the duel, basically nobody played it, it ended up just being three people taking punches at each other. Uh, the 2v2 lasted a little bit with people going back and forth, but then scheduling of 2v2 became a nightmare. But we've already got like a good amount of games and it doesn't seem to be slowing slowing down. I'm going to finish this up and then start challenging people again. I think I've got few enough points now to start. I think I'm pretty sure I've got less than the starting number of points. Like I've lost more points than I've gained. Which is good because it means I can challenge anybody who hasn't played yet. Because that will be my plan, I'm going to challenge the people who haven't played yet, try and get everybody to play. Knowing that there's a good chance that I continue to be the lower half, below average, uh, on the point scoring system. Mostly on the basis that I'll start challenge. If, if I'm bored and want some challenges, I'll start challenging people who are better than me and I don't care about losing. That will be the bit when it gets a bit annoying though, when people aren't... So, you could only challenge people who are better than you. Which, when everything balances out, is that going to mean that nobody's going to challenge each other because they know they're going to lose? That's the only problem. Like, are you going to, if Kojin's at the top, are you going to challenge Kojin? Because what would be the point? Well... Yeah, so I'm on 1,160 from a win one, lose one standpoint. So I lost more because I lost slightly more points for the second game. So I will probably challenge either Zord, PCL, uh, or Seeky, maybe. Now I'll leave Seeky because Seeky... Uh, Seeky's more likely to actually get on with it, but Zord and PCL have been in since the very start of the league. Seeky only joined the other day. And Seeky's more likely to be the sort of person who will play be playing a couple of games with uh, like Spike or Grunt or someone like that and say, shall we make it a league game? Which I hope, I hope people do realise that I don't give a shit if they post if they set everything up after the game like if they if they just play and then as long as they followed the rules vaguely when they were playing it doesn't matter if the game was played before the fucking match was actually challenged I don't care
you definitely could be a good player if you uh, did did all the good player things like demo reviews and all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, it just is whether you're motivated enough to do it. It's the same thing for me. I could be a much better player than I am, but I just that end of stuff isn't fun for me when we start getting serious about it. I'd rather put that grind into uh, defrag. You should join the Jewel League though. You should definitely do that. Because there's no obligations to play that seriously. Do whatever you like there. Yeah, he just takes control of the map and then denies everything from you. I I really want to see the Wolfie versus Kojin game. I am probably going to pester Kojin for the demos on that one. Because I've got way too many Wolfie demos, so I don't want to do those. He was trying to get me to take his Pub CA demos and cast his Pub CA demos the other day. I was like, I, it's just too much of a fucking mess. People join and leave so you can't talk about them. Every bugger's got a fake nick so you've got no idea who the fuck's going on. Yes, I could do play-by-play -play of Clan Arena from the perspective of whoever I've got the demo off of. But there's, there's not much interesting to play-by-play. And in pub CA, when you've got fucking like 12 versus 12. And then what do you do when the geezer dies as well? Do you just commentate whoever they end up spectating? What about how I end up... But once I die in Clan Arena, I go... Um, I tab out until the next round. So I don't even end up spectating any players. I'm just in free float cam most of the time. Oh, I'm dog shit at fake nicks. I really am. I have no idea who anyone is when they've got a fake nick on. Yeah. Now, I, the other thing is, I'm not interested in playing Pub CA, so it's not going to make for a very interesting commentary.
It is quite funny on the rankings leaderboard how there's three people above. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, there's two pages now, apparently. Two pages of people. There's three people above the minimum and three people below the line. Because loads of matches have been played, but a few people have played twice, like me, Wolfie, Splat. So, at the minute, loads of people in 4th place, then I'm in 11th for being 40 points below the, the middle positions. Ah well. I'm pretty sure Kojin's a top tier player. Oh yeah, the 2017 uh, Dual Masters or whatever they called it, that was. That was peak Xenotic Dual, really. Um, shame I got in literally just after that. That's when I started playing Xenotic. Just after that tournament. But, uh... Smile's still playing, he's just... Because American time zones, all the tournaments are for weird hours for him. But yeah, Islin I haven't seen in a while. Mazepo. Taylor was fake nicking as a new player the last time I saw him. Uh, and someone was like, hey, it's Taylor. Fucking hell. No wonder he just turned up in the pickup and shit all over everybody. Oh, his movement mechanics will always still be there. He does trick jump. It's basically all he does in various games. Doesn't even bother with proper defrag, just does trick jumping. It is a shame that there's not a bigger top top tier scene, but at the same time you just kinda gotta create that, haven't you? If all those players came from nothing at one point. I'm sure people compared those players to past players, so 
we got the dual league. We just try and keep poking Rainbow and uh, people like that to join it. Try and get Dodger onto it. If you can get those guys on. That's how you get the people that are really good. You've got to get good players to play against good players consistently and have a reason to improve. And that's when you might start to see some of the older players come back. The only problem would be some of the older players might not be uh, might not be as good as you remember. Or potentially you think that they're a lot better but actually the 2017 skill isn't as good as now and you just don't realise it. I think it is as good as now but I think that there's definitely top players now that could rival that skill level if given the kind of the grind to get into peak performance because that's the thing no one's got any reason to get into peak performance right now tournaments are kind of whatever and quite often so why would you absolutely train to be the best for one thing whereas that tournament was like decent prize pool reason to get very good knowing that you're only going to play against very good players It's one of the reasons I set up the Duel League. Well, it was partially to get people to duel, to give people a reason to play duel, but also to give uh, give some of the better players a reason to actually improve. Because if you can get two better, two good players to want that top rank, you know, everyone bitches and moans about champs ranks that he just makes up and makes makes an extra rank for himself just to make sure that he's in the top rank and all of that bullshit well there's the leaderboard play enough games it will balance out How did we get seven points? That seemed wrong. <laughs> Got the uh, current team rankings for the rally championship I'm doing. And somehow the team I'm in has seven points, which I'm very surprised about. Because I would have thought surely we'd only get the, the minimum one point, considering how we are literally tying up the bottom of the leaderboard um, one point per three players it, two rounds six surely oh Xenotic's a fantastic game probably the best game I've ever played
The fact it's got the amount of players it does with zero marketing and just word of mouth and people randomly picking it up. And those players stay. Yeah, CPM's net code is incredible. But Xenotic's Zeno net code is. I think we, CPM had to have the best net code because they knew people were going to be playing from all over the place. And it was a competitive patch, where Xenotic ne Nexu is kind of never cared, and then Xenotic hasn't needed to care because internet connections have got better, basically, since they started. Dark Places is technically a single-player modding engine. It's not meant for not meant for multiplayer, really. Although Doombringer's netcode's pretty good. I remember playing Doombringer when it genuinely had zero client prediction netcode. That was hilarious. Oh, nice. Better net code would be good. Just polish the game that little bit more. One more thing on the 1.0 roadmap. Yeah, the packet loss problem does suck for Xenotic. The fact that there's so many things that are ballsed up by it.
Yeah, I know you're still getting them bullshit. Like, doesn't want to shoot. It's just weird because like nobody else has that problem. Ah, so it's a disease spread by Clan Arena. Just don't play Clan Arena. There's some weird balanced servers on the, the server listings in Attic. But that's just part of the fun. And then the arguments about whether Electro is actually strong or not. In which my opinion is not really, because you don't see... You see people spamming it in Clan Arena and everybody gets annoyed by people spamming it in Clan Arena. But actually, just don't tread on the fucking spiky balls. Like, it's barely used in Duel. If it was really overpowered, everyone would use it in Duel. But no. Given the choice, no one uses it. There are maps where it doesn't work, and I do think that the um, game rule of you only get the weapons on the map that equate to the map, but then you get arguments where there's people want Electro turned off with that rule, but also want to keep Nex because they want to use Nex as a crutch. Yeah, At which point I will um, agree with Dr. Jaska only once and say shit scan <laughs> Sub 40 should be able to if I have a clear-ish run. 
if I can keep what's the same sort of time I just did on the forwards version, on the backwards version, should be able to sub 40 it. I would like that. Yeah, most of the time people aren't getting ads. It seems to be like 50% of people get ads if there's enough people in the stream. Otherwise it's just basically a 50-50 chance that you get an ad. But when I'm in bigger streams, I see loads of people spamming ad and only uh, half the time that everyone's spamming ad I actually get one to control. Oh, back to developing dark places. Nice. Hey, you got the sub. Nice. The Nice work. Cheers, Turbo. 